everyone, this is Anita. Welcome to my channel. And I hope you, everyone in your household and family and friends and neighbors and your community, I hope you're all doing well. Um, as for me and my household, we're doing well as well as could be considering this coronavirus epidemic that's going around around the world. And I know it has a lot of people on the edge of their seat and, you know, fear is, is a thing that when you're afraid of the unknown, people react different. Um, I'm just so glad that I have God in my life and I'm in peace. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm not worried or concerned or fearful for myself or my loved ones. It just means that I'm in peace and my faith is very strong and I'm just trusting in God that he will take care of us no matter what happens. So I pray for you and your family that you're all doing well. And just because of my um, past history, health issues, uh, my husband and I, we've decided that I should just stay home the pollen is very high, my allergies are kicking in, my asthma, my breathing, and so for that reason, I'm not going out, I'm not going to the Dollar Tree, I'm not going shopping. So I'm staying home and I'm doing what I what I could do um, with the items that I already have. And um, so I was sketching on my little sketchboard. I wanted to do a little doggy sign um, and put in on a board and put it in front of my door um but then the do the the doggy started looking more like a rabbit <laughs> so i started sketching it and i even sketched it on one of these foam boards and <laughs> this is a bigger size you know version of it and um i'm gonna keep this one as a pattern but i did um sketch it again on a smaller version and I used one of those Dollar Tree boards that's what I did so if you have one of these boards from Christmas or any season you could use that so I'm using I'm gonna use this side but I will be painting this side and I'm gonna be attaching it to a board um, and I'm gonna be using just whatever paint I have on hand right now I'm gonna well, I have a lot of paint, but I'm going to use the mineral oil, um, the mineral paint from Waverly Chalk. And I'm going to paint this side and the board in that color. And then this side, I'm thinking about using sticky paper. Um, I have, um, or oh, I'll probably do a decoupage. You know, you could do fabric. You could, I'm sorry I came out of the picture, but I was, you could use something like this or something like this, um, or one of the, a towel, you could do a towel, you could do, um, these type of papers and decoupage it on, um, so I have an assortment of stuff, but I'm thinking about using this marble sticky paper on this rabbit. And for, for the reason is because I have eggs that are in uh, marble eggs and I have them in different shades of marble and so I thought it would look cute if I have a marble um, texture um, bunny. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So first I'm going to paint but also on this one I drew the hands and it you know, I was thinking, I was like, this looks also like Snoopy. I could, you know, cut a, a Snoopy for Christmas or something out of this same pattern. But um, I wasn't going to, I didn't add the paws in the front, but I changed my mind. And I did cut a little board. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I did cut a, from the same board. I cut the paws and I'm adding the praying hands. So I changed my mind at first and I'm like, okay, well then I'll do it. So I'm adding that with crazy glue and then I'm going to paint everything. So stay tuned for the rest of it and um, let me know in the comments if you like it. I'm also going to try to make a copy, a picture. I don't know how to do this, but I would love to share the, these patterns with you. 
So um, I'm going to see if I could download um, the pattern and leave it in my comments below so you could have it for free. Okay? All right. I'll talk to you later. See you in a bit. Okay, so here I'm just about to um, begin to paint the board and I'm using that Waverly color. And then on the wrong side of the bunny rabbit on the board, I'm painting the wrong side of it just to cover that Christmas um, item that they had there. And I will be using the back side of it. But I wanted a clean side um, and I wanted it to look um, well done. Even though it's gonna be in my house and I'm just gonna be displaying it in my house, um, I just want it to look better. And here I clean all my bottles because I hate to have bottles of paint dripping. Um, but um, I'm just stroking with the brush anyway. It, I'm not going in any way particular. I am making sure that I'm covering the size of it so that it covers the edges. Here I'm just demonstrating that I'm going to be using the from the Dollar Tree those sponge brushes. I always save those little wood dolls and um, I'm glad that I did. So all in this case all you have to do is take out the black piece once you're done with the sponge and then you can use the dolls for many things. In this case I'm going to be placing the dolls one next to the other on the board and I'm going to leave a space in between that will be wide enough for the board of the bunny to go in between and that's how I'm going to hold it in place and I'm going to glue gun that all of that all those pieces together. So I have the first one glued down, making sure that it's glued properly, and I'm about to glue the next one. I'm sorry about the bell. My husband is home um, because of the coronavirus, and he's coming in and, in and out of the garage. And um, we have that alarm system that lets us know that lets us know when there's a door opening. So I glued them down, and I'm gonna begin to paint that with the same um, Waverly paint. But I'm gonna secure it um, by adding more glue gun to the size all the way around. And now I'm painting it and I'm finding those um, webs from the glue all over because it's freshly um, glued on. But I'm just taking them off as I go along. And let's fast forward that. And I love this paint because it dries so fast. Now I'm showing you the um, sticky paper that I'm going to be using, which is the marble. I'll leave that in the description box, the name of it. So I opened it up. 
and I'm placing the bunny board that I just painted. It's still a little wet, but I'm impatient. And I'm just holding the paper in place with the paint. And now I'm going to trace the bunny. Once that's traced, I'm going to be cutting it out and then pasting it to the bunny. And it was very simple to do. I didn't have any hard time. There was no bubbles. This paper was very easy to apply. I'm just going over with the rotary cutter to cut the edges I did cut it a little bit longer a little bit wider um, just in case but um, so I cut it and now I'm just demonstrating how it's gonna look once I place it on the board but it's not ready for the board yet I'm just I was just demonstrating I was thinking about placing this paper on that side um, of the board but I changed my mind and then here you see me in with my bag of all kinds of ropes and I'm thinking about placing a rope around so I'm thinking of using the black nylon rope from the Dollar Tree and that's what I'm gonna be using but I am testing all the items that I have but the black one was the one that looked the best and that's what I'm gonna be going with So here I'm showing the bunny that I already glued um, with the hot glue that um, black nylon rope around. And I have this um, little pom-pom. Um, I had it in my stash and I decided to use it as the little pom-pom um, tail for the bunny. So I'm just gluing that there now. And then on the side you see a little case of black buttons. And I was sorting and I was going through all the buttons to see um, if I was going to use something for the eye or the nose. And I did go ahead and, and I did one for the nose, but then I removed it because it looked more like a dog than a bunny. In the future, I will be making a doggy version of this, but um, for now, it's just um, the bunny. So you see, it looked more like a dog with that button in the nose. It looked cute, but um, in the future, I will use it for the dog that I'm going to create. So I'm using another button for the eye. And you could use anything for the eye. You know, they also have the little eyeballs um, that they sell in the Dollar Tree in different sizes. But I like to think outside the box, so I like to use whatever I have on hand. So here I am hot gluing the button for the eye, um, to serve as the eye. And I think he's just coming along so cute. I love him. Now I'm going to hot glue um, the bunny board to the wood board and I'm just squeezing that glue in between those two dolls that I painted and then I'm going to place the board there. 
I'm running out of glue, so I have to get reach out for a glue stick. And I chose the big one because I've been running out of glue real fast lately. Those long ones are really good. And sometimes they get in the way, but they're very good. You don't have to be changing them. So here I am placing the bunny board on the wood board. And I'm just holding it in place until it dries. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to display him. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to press play when I made the little um, neck bow and I added a flower on the hands. And I'm sorry I didn't record that part, but you will see it when I demonstrate him um, at the end. I just added simple flowers in a black and white checkerboard bow. And I just think he, he looks so cute. I'm glad that I made a boy. And here he is. The checkerboard. And he looks cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you like him. And happy Easter. God bless everyone.